in your exam that you will have to do the graph of a quadratic function. The graph of a quadratic function will be in the shape of a parabola. And anything that is fired into the earth will trace out the shape of a quadratic graph because gravity will cause it to curve. If it's a quadratic function, the highest power will be an x squared. Yes? In other words, if there was an x cubed, it is a cubic graph. Being a quadratic graph, the highest power of x in that graph will be squared. And you, if you were asked to draw the graph of f of x equal to x squared minus 2x minus 3 in the domain minus 2 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 4. That's what the question would say. Draw that quadratic. Well, if that's the quadratic graph, what are the x values that you take? Minus 2, minus 1, 0. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Any questions? There's your domain. And to get each point, what do you have to work out? x squared, minus 2x, minus 3. And when you add them up, what do you have? So drawing a straight line, there was just the x and the number, the linear function. Now it's a quadratic function that you're not able to see. All right? And there is an x squared now. And the x squared line means I square each one of those. What's minus 2 to be squared? Minus 2 by minus 2 plus 4. Minus 1 to be squared, minus 1 by minus 1, 1. Because minus by minus gives. And any time you square a number, no matter what its sign, what will it turn out to be? 0 to be squared, 1 to be squared, 2 to be squared, 3 to be squared, 4 to be squared. Any questions? Minus 2x means you multiply each of those x values by what? Minus 2 by minus 2, 4. Minus 2 by minus 1. Minus 2 by 0. Minus 2 by 1. Minus 2 by 2. Minus 2 by 3. Minus 2 by 4. And I put in the number minus 3 everywhere. 4 8 5, 1, 2, 0, 0, 0, minus 3, 1, minus 1, minus 4, 4, 0, minus 3, 9, 0, 3, 16, 5. So now I have a set of coordinates or points, whichever way you wish to call them. My first coordinate is minus 2, 5. My next coordinate is minus 1, 0. My next coordinate is 0 minus 3. My next coordinate is 1 minus 4. My next is 2 minus 3. My next is 3, 0. And my last coordinate is the coordinate 4, 5. Have you any questions? I have to graph those now. I borrow a pencil there, please, for one minute. So, the x-axis starts at, what's the lowest x value? Minus 2. The biggest x value? 4. Well, I may need more room on the negative side or the positive side. So, I need more room. Negative side, positive side. The y-axis... The biggest value is 5, and the smallest is minus 4. So I can split it in around the middle, yeah? I need a tiny bit more room on top than on bottom. I think I'll be able to fit in 1 inch for each pin. 
minus 1, minus 2. 1, 2, 3, and 4. That's that scale. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Do I need a darker pencil? Minus 1, minus 2. Anyone a darker pink? I've got a darker red. Do you know? A TV or something? Here. It'd just be easier for you to see it. Pass one on there. I have one here. Thank you. On this axis, I have to go up to 5 and down to minus 4. I'll make it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. My points, minus 2, 5. Minus 1, 0. 0, minus 3. 1, minus 4. 2, one, two, three, zero, four. You understand those set of points? And they make a smooth curve. So we start off and we go lightly down the line till we get the shape. And then it will come down along in a curve and it will make a nice U shape. They're not joined up by straight lines. Okay. See my curve here? Light lines, they can be rubbed out there. That is the graph of a quadratic function. If it's a plus x squared graph, it'll have a u shape. If it's a minus x squared graph, it has an n shape. So things that go thrown into Earth, will they be plus x squared or minus x squared? Do you understand that? Yeah? And then there is your quadratic graph. And then you go back. And you take out these type of lines out of just to make it your perfect curve. Is that all right? Have you any questions? No. Now, see this table? Yes? Okay. Your calculator will give you the table. You're expected to show your work, but you can check if your answers are right. All right? So if you go into mode, now just watch. You get choices. You get one, two, but three says table. So you hit three. And it says f of x equal to, and your graph is f of x equal to, or y is equal to. Now what must I put in? x squared minus 2x minus 3. To put in the x, you have to hit the alpha, and there's a red x on that button. See the x appearing? 2b squared. Minus 2 times, to put in the x, it's alpha, x, minus 3. And that's my function, x squared minus 2x minus 3. And I hit equal to. And it says start. And start means, what x value do you want to start? Minus 2 is equal to. And end, what x value do I want to end at? 4 is equal to. Do you understand that? And then it says step. Now, I'm stepping 1. In other words, I'm going from minus 2 then, minus 1 then. So what gap am I leaving between each value? 1. And that's what you're expected to leave. If I took a step of a half, I'd have a way more points, and I could be a little bit more accurate. Yes? But step of 1 is what you're expected to take. And then it gives you your table. It says... Minus 2, 5. Minus 1, 
zero. Zero minus three. And it'll say one minus four, two minus three, and it gives you your set of points. So not much excuse for getting the table incorrect. Yes? Now, I will explain to you how to use the calculator against that.